before. It's a really cute little place. It used to be a mine town and yeah, not anymore, obviously. <laughs> so we're trying to do a train thingy. The to do is um, he just went inside to go and see if we can get train tickets. train and we got the high freaking pee man. <laughs> nope, you just chose to sit back here when nobody else is. Well, so we're in the booth. This is the train booth. There's a balcony. You can stand out here while it's driving. That's cool. And then you can sit over there too. I think it's like a 20 minute ride. Stop. It goes like There's around the town, and like a little bit outside of it. So that's cool. And then over there, they have a zip line. There's a zip line, and then there is a mine. Um, that thing right there, that's a mine. You can go into the mine, and then over there, they have um, a house. It's like the, the tipped house. Like a crooked house, I don't know. We've been there last time. It's really, it made me nauseous being in there because it was like the house is like this, but when you look in it, it looks like normal, so it made me all nauseous. Um, you can check out the old video. So you can do um, three tours all in one for the price of two. Oh. Americans called that mountain Thunder Mountain. And they believe that an angry thunder god lived up there. And you better not go on his mountain. He'll turn you into stone. They told a story of a great flood that came through the valley, washing all the good people away. Now the bad people climbed up on the mountain, angering the thunder god, and he turned them into stone. Can you see him standing up there at the very, very top, looking down on us? I see him up there. Those were called the Sonora Desert is the only place in the world you'll find these giant saguaro cacti. Some say they don't get any arms until they're uh, 70 years old. This old timer here has got a hole in it made by the Hilo woodpecker. And she eats beetles, uh, creating a cavity where later she'll lay her eggs and raise her young. I wonder why they don't call her the Hilo cactus pecker. Seems more appropriate, don't it? As we come around the bend, you'll be able to see down into the last unproductive gold mine in Arizona. Productive today because, well, Canadians like to recycle. Yes, Canadians bought this mine and they're reprocessing all this material, running it through a hopper over there to see if any rich ore was left behind. At $1,400 an ounce, that's probably a very good idea. Hey? Eh? Oh, looky there. <laughs> that green building? That is Miss Lulu's Bordello Museum. Now, I've never been in Miss Lulu's Bordello Museum, but my girlfriend works up there. The door is open, and sometimes when I ring my bell, she'll come out and wave at me. Sometimes she's busy. <laughs> Our first Christmas here, I bought her a pony. Yes, I brought home a golden pony. I said, let's name it Gaga. 
She said, Gaga? Why, Daddy? And I said, well, anytime you want it to stop, you can just say, whoa, whoa, whoa.